Hi, thanks for tuning in to my Steam Party how-to videos. In this video, we're going to talk about the initial setup of the Steam Party. This follows the uh, basic Steam setup video. Uh, I'm assuming that your game is already set up for Steam and connected and the Steam overlay does work. So if you haven't already have that done, watch the previous video before this one. So we're going to go on. Um, now we want to go ahead and enable the Steam Party plugin. So we'll go into the, uh, once you have installed it to your engine, after you bought the pack, you go into plugins and we'll go over down to Steam category. And then you'll see Steam Party, Beacon for Party and Lobby Matchmaking, a complete party system integrated for the Steam online system. Now that sounds pretty, pretty great, but it really is because it's a, uh, uh, very difficult to do this kind of stuff in Steam, especially with the limited documentation that they provide. So we'll go ahead and restart this. All right, I fast forwarded through the loading of the project and now we have our Steam Party plugin enabled. So let's we'll close this out and go to the next step, which is actually seeing the content that you get with the, with the pack. So we'll go down to the right hand corner, click on view options, and then we'll see the options to check show engine content and show plugin content. That's because this is an engine plugin. Now when we scroll down over here to Steam Party, now we see that we have our UMG assets that we can use for widgets and on-screen display. Uh, and we'll get to that in a later video. Uh, so the next thing now is since we have everything hooked up for the plugin, we need to actually set some settings in the config file. So let's close this down and open up the config file. And I'll go ahead and open up inside of the uh, solution. Uh, what I want to open up is the default engine, the INI. And then I want to go to where I have the net definitions, net driver definitions. What I need to add, do is add another net definition. And that def net definition is for this beacon itself. So it creates another port, uh, basically, a net connection on your computer. And we needed to define that. And the way we define that is call it beacon net driver. This is very important because that's what it looks for, the name underneath the hood of the engine. And the rest of it, it's using the Steam net driver since it is using the P2P peer-to-peer um, -peer network. So it's using the same thing as the, uh, the Steam net driver. Now, the last thing we want to add here is we want to add some settings for our uh, new net driver. So I'll go ahead and copy this over and paste it here. And this is called online beacon host and what's important about here is this is the uh, the port that you'll be talking to um, for the steam party so that's definitely configurable uh, I have it set out of the box for 7787 uh, which is um, uh, a, a good one to start with now you'll, if you want to have multiple ports you can uh, do uh, multi-home and uh, set it through your um, command line launch of the game, but we can get to more of those advanced options later. Uh, and then also the initial timeout is how long it takes to connect the first time, that's 48 seconds, and the beacon connection timeout is 49 seconds. Um, but we actually want to change that to 90 to make sure it, uh, it connects up correctly. And I'm going to change this one to uh, 90 also. Here we go. That way it's in line with the, uh, the Steam timeouts or the P2P connection timeouts too. So I'll go ahead and save all that. And uh, there we go. That's the uh, the first couple steps we need to get the, the plugin actually activated and up and running in our game. So on the next video, we'll talk about setting up the game instance. And I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.